Hello, me guys, it's Shannon Big here. You know, you did good out there. You got a real shot at winning this thing. Cause you work together. Both of you make a good team too. Hey, come over here and make nice. Yeah, he pretends not to care. But he's just like me. He hates losing. Norm, get over here! Uh-oh. Perhaps I need new ways to motivate you, like taking your books away. I thought he had you beat, but you proved me wrong. You won't be so lucky on... Techni. Yes! Yes! You know, you did good out there. Go away, you filthy clown. No, no. He's a mime. Mime clown? Close enough. With their painted faces and tattoos and stupid little honker things that just... Where do you get off calling me a clown? With your big head and your stupid springy hair. Norm, get over here! Uh-oh. Perhaps I need new ways to motivate you, like taking your books away. I thought he had you beat, but you proved me wrong. You won't be so lucky on Techni. So yeah, looks like next stage, uh, next area is Techni, which is Techniki, the last stage. Um, the last area in the game, but first we've got a little crystal challenge to do. Uh, the crystal challenge is called Desert Storm. And it sounds like a reference to something, I'm gonna... It doesn't say it's a reference to something on here, but it sounds like one. I, oh, it's, um, I think it's a war game, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Now this track here... Um, there's not really much to say about it, which, um, in a way is good. This little area right here. Okay. When I was younger, I used to play this game, um, quite a lot with a friend of mine. I had a PS2 and he had an Xbox. Whenever I went around his, um, house, he used to play, we used to play Halo. And, um, when he went to mine, we played Crash Nitro Kart. And, um, that little area that I was talking about, we'd always used to, like, get loads of items. So, like, um... TNTs, nitro crates, anything that you can you can just lay on the floor, and um, we'd lay them all around the area. And what we'd have to do is uh, every time we uh, like every time we do that, we'd um, have to try and avoid each of the ones. So we're like kind of making like an obstacle course for each other. Like we wouldn't um, try and you know deliberately hit each other with stuff. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a way to take off certain items. If there isn't, then we just didn't hit each other with them. And um, we just laid up loads and loads of different stuff around here. So, and we'd have to try and avoid it by going from one side to the other and laying down the trap that we made. But anyway, on with the crystal worm hunt. This one is pretty bullshit in my opinion because a lot of the time you have to basically deliberately kill yourself. Or not kill yourself, get hurt in order to get some of these crystals. And yeah, I get it. Okay, there might be some item crates and you probably are supposed to use them. But, I haven't seen a single item crate, um, but, but I, I, can't, I can't see an item crate at the moment. So it's just like, okay, yeah, there's one there. But it's like, they're so out of the way that it's so much quicker to just kill yourself or get hurt. So in um, in uh, the uh, battle mode, you basically die and lose and stuff after a certain amount of hits. But in this mode, you can get hit as much as you like, so. But yeah. 
the bowling bomb will detonate either when it hits something or when you press the power up button. Detonation will affect any cart in its blast radius. Okay, I don't know what was up with the editing there, but um, yeah, uh, we just finished that. Uh, as you could notice, you get a little um, CNK token every time you beat uh, one of those crystal challenges. You also get CNK tokens for uh, uh, doing the CNK challenges, which we're going to be doing later on. Um, a sign card I should quickly mention, I've got a bit of a cold, so, um, hopefully it's not too distracting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to do as many videos as I can at once for this, um, bit here. I don't know what happened with that booster thing, but at the same time, I'm glad. I'm trying to do as many videos as once as I can, because I'm not going to be able to record anything, um, next week. So, I'm going to have to schedule some stuff. Uh, yeah, now we're in Techni, which is technically... <laughs> okay, I already said this before. But, um... First level is assembly lane. Oh, I believe. Yeah, I changed my character up to nit nitrous oxide here. So while we're at it, I think I'll go up to the Crash Bandapedia page, which uh, they've changed to Crash Bandicoot Wikia now, but it's still called Bandapedia. And uh, let's look up nitrous oxide. Now I'm pretty sure I was in the previous racing game. Yes, I was the final boss in Crash Team Racing. Uh, but they don't really. Uh, say anything about Nitro Cup. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, his speed is pretty low. His acceleration is, like, average, and his turning is average. But I kind of find that, I don't know, I don't really believe those stats, because when I was playing as Nitrous Oxide, his speed was quite high. I mean, it wasn't like, um... The most highest that I've experienced with um, the races in this game, but it was pretty high and I had to slow down quite a bit. Uh, something you might have noticed that at the beginning, I was staying um, in line with my partner um, right at the back just so my meter can charge, and I'm going to use that later on to help me, you know, win the race. It doesn't help too much, but um, it, it was, um, you know, like a nice little um, backup thing that I could um, return to just in case. Now, Nit uh, nitrous Oxide is a pretty surprising character. When I first played the game, I didn't. It wasn't really all that surprising to me because I never. I, n I didn't really know Nitrous Oxide was the final boss in uh, Crash Team Racing because I played this game first. And when I did play Crash Team Racing, I skipped the cutscenes and I didn't really know that there was like Nitrous Oxide in it. So to me, he just seemed like a generic alien. But I. Uh, like, now that I know he's the final boss in the first game, I, it's actually pretty awesome that you can play as him, you know? I, th I think that's um, a really, really nice addition that he did there, because one of the things that the first um, Crash game missed out on big time was being able to play as Nitrous Oxide. I know you can hack him in, but... It's just like... it's they they I feel like they should have made him like um, a playable character. And I'm not excusing this game, because this game you can't even play as the normal bosses, whereas you can in the first game. But I thought the, f um, the fact that you could play as Nitrous Oxide was a really cool feature, and I quite like that. Now, um... I'm gonna... I'll quickly read this. Later, here we'll see an Crash Nitro Kart racing for Empro Velo the 27th on Team Oxide, along with Zem, Zam, and Velo himself. After a unicycle accident on Gas Moxia, Oxide returned to get revenge on Crash and his friends, bringing his allies Zam and Zem into the fray. This was the first official playable appearance. Strangely, whenever he is in the he is on the trophy podium when he wins, he dances with a cane while wearing a top hat similar to Ripperoo. Oxide's head is also m more narrow in his appearance. The thing you've also noticed is his car is his car is different. To what it was in Crash Team Racing. Uh, I don't know, I quite like the design of his car in this game. It's not as iconic, but I think it at least looks a bit better. So, yeah. Now, um... Uh, I was about to say something, but my mind kind of just went blank. <laughs> Oh well, uh, Ukuk is probably going to talk, but... Aku Aku. 
you can knock off a TNT crate stuck on your head. By spamming the R1 button, yes, we know. Okay. But yeah, we're going to be going over to the next level in the game. The next level is... Magnetic something? Or is it the Android one? I think it's the Android one. Android Alley, that's it. Okay. I don't remember the names very well on this. Uh, I, to be fair, I don't really remember any of the names of any of the racetracks in any of the Crash Bandicoot games all too well. Uh, um, that's why I have Wikipedia on standby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one here we're going to be playing as Neo Cortex because I'm pretty sure we haven't played as him yet. Now, uh, um, Neo Cortex is the guy you all know and love. He's an evil scientist willing over to take over the world to destroy that wretched bandicoot. But um, yeah, Neo Cortex is, is uh, he controls basically the same way as Crash. Um, He's a he's fairly decent to control. Um, I don't, his character model is a little bit weird to look at. I I don't know. There's something about his character model that it, it bugs me a bit. But I like his cart design and yeah. Um, this racetrack that we're on is actually uh what a racetrack I actually like quite a lot. Um, this whole um last world is actually a, tr a, re a world that I really 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 like in this game. It's probably my favorite just because. Despite it being like a little bit too difficult AI wise sometimes, um, especially when you play it on hard mode or you do the um, boss, uh, the um, it because it's futuristic, you've got the um, you've got a better excuse to use the anti gravity stuff, and I really really like the fact that he done that. And I'm gonna go on a bit of like a Mario Kart. Whoa! Mario Kart 80 Tangent. <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, Ma Mario Kart 8, the uh, anti gravity sections on that, they kind of just like feel like they're just there. Like, they feel like they're. They kind of just looked at Crash Nitro Kart, but they only looked at the first two worlds and they thought, oh, that's pretty cool. It'll make our game a bit different. And then they kind of just went with it. Which. Um, and I'm kind of iffy on uh, the anti-gravity stuff in um, Mario Kart 8. Uh, and it is, um, to defend it, it controls better than it does here. Like, um, while I like the difference in control this game has on the anti-gravity sections, when you're going through some of those, like, loopy stuffs, and when you're doing some turns, it can feel a little bit stiff, and I don't like it. Whereas in Mario Kart 8, they make the anti-gravity stuff feel exactly the same as normal racing, which is um i i think that's um good because you know you don't really have to adapt too much but a little bit of a difference is still nice because you kind of feel like you're in control of something else um uh, a lot of the time it just feels like they kind of just tack on the anti-gravity into like a random section so like let's just say uh i brought up um Marika stadium i was about to say crash bandicoot stadium then and uh, they they have like a racetrack, obviously, <laughs> but like a part of the racetrack just kind of just bends upwards, and then they just put a little boost jump thing onto it, and then I thought my mask would be able to plow through that, but it didn't. <laughs> and they they just put anti gravity there, and it's just like oh cool, okay. And uh, I know it's like an old track, and that's fair enough. I can forgive that, but they do the same. Uh, at least I. The one I'm thinking of is to get the one from the Game Boy Advance game, that track. Um, but like the very, very first track that you're racing in the game does the exact same thing. Uh, pretty much most of the other tracks kind of go by that. Uh, I'm trying to think of one that stands out. Uh, the anti-gravity stuff in um, the Rainbow Road level of that uh, Mario Kart 8. I, I, I quite like that. I think it does that quite well because it's kind of like... This lost world that we're playing in here, but so from that, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, I'm less playing the game at the moment with my friends, so um, you guys, um, unless you've already played the game, will be able to spot so, um, some things that might be unique. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly go on a bit of a tangent about it, just because I don't, I'm not really doing that in the actual let's play. It's just kind of like a little casual thing, so. Like, this is professional or anything, but... <laughs> but you kind of get what I mean. I'm not really talking about the game too much. But either way, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in part 7.